Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about the differences between hypostasis and bruise. Postmortem hypostasis is also known as liver mortis or TBDT. It is the intravascular pooling of blood in gravitationally dependent parts of the body after death. This picture shows postmortem hypostasis. Now let us see about bruise. It is also known as contusion. It is the effusion of blood into tissues due to rupture of venules and arterioles caused by blunt force. This picture shows a bruise. Now let us see about the differences between hypostasis and bruise. Hypostasis occurs due to distension of vessels with blood in the dermis. Whereas bruise occurs due to ruptured vessels which may be superficial or deep. Remember in bruise there is rupturing of blood vessels. Now let us see about the site of hypostasis. It occurs over extensive area of the most dependent parts. In case of bruise it occurs at the site of or surrounding the injury and it may appear anywhere on the body. Remember, in case of hypostasis, it occurs over the most dependent parts, whereas in case of bruise, it can occur anywhere on the body depending on the site of injury. There is no elevation of the involved area in case of hypostasis, whereas the involved area is often swollen because of extravasated blood and edema in case of bruise. The epidermis is not abraded in hypostasis, whereas the epidermis may be abraded in case of bruise. The margins are clearly defined in hypostasis whereas the margins merge with surrounding area in case of bruise. The color of hypostasis is uniform bluish purple whereas in case of bruise the color depends on the age of the injury. Old bruises are of different color than fresh bruises. Now let us see about incision test. On incision blood is seen in blood vessels in case of hypostasis and it can be easily washed away. The subcutaneous tissues are pale. In case of bruise on incision we may find extravasation of blood into the surrounding tissues which is firmly clotted and cannot be washed away by gentle stream of water. In case of bruise, the subcutaneous tissues are deep reddish black. Remember, in case of hypostasis, the subcutaneous tissues are pale whereas in case of bruise, the subcutaneous tissues are deep reddish black. Now let us see about the effect of pressure. Hypostasis will be absent in areas of the body which are even under slight pressure. In case of bruise, they will be little lighter over the area of pressure or support. Remember, hypostasis will be absent in areas of pressure. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.